Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Recently I did a video on this EDC tool pouch loadout. And as I keep uh, reviewing it and sort of making updates to it, uh, as you might recall, I had an Icon ratchet in this pouch. Uh, what I wanted to do is uh, check out and compare it to this Vim ratchet that I've, I've picked up here. You can see this uh, Vim part number is the uh, RFB400K. It's a three piece quarter inch mini ratchet kit. And you can see it has an adapter here for sockets. You look at the back real quick, a quick look at the back. You can see here it's uh, listed as a uh, 60, 60 tooth uh, or geared ratchet. But just a quick look at the back. There doesn't say where it's manufactured. I do know that the icon is made in uh, Taiwan. If you look it up, this is how this comes. It comes with uh, 30, 32 bits. And you can see here's the ratchet, there's your extension, and this is the uh, adapter for sockets. So I thought it'd be interesting to take a, and do a quick uh, comparison between these two. So if we pull the, pull the ratchet and the extension out, the adapter. And let's look real quick at how this compares. So I've just put it all together here. And here it is side by side with the, um, the Vim. In fact, I'll put them back to back here so we can kind of get a look at the length. All right, so there we see them back to back. You can see that the icon is a little bit shorter than the Vim. That's really the most uh, noticeable difference. One of the only measurable differences really. And if I look here, you can see that the icon is about, the top of the ratchet down is about four and a quarter inches. The Vim, I'm getting about almost six inches almost six inches on the Vim, not quite. And so, and about four and a quarter inches on the Icon. So you can see there, it's about an inch and a half difference in length between the two ratchets. Yeah, roughly an inch and a half. So the Vim is an inch and a half longer than the Icon. But if you compare the two, and this is what I think is interesting, if you look at these ratchet heads, you'll see they look nearly identical. So you see the location of the, the white dot on both. If we're looking at the font, you can see quarter inch hex gear, that the, the quarter inch gear hex, same font, same label on each side all the way around. They have the same switch on each side, same knurling on the switch. Let's look at the button. The button says push release and the buttons are identical identical buttons on each on the Vim and the Icon. Um, same, uh, same here where they lock, right? I think it's 180 degrees of angle. You look at the, you see the Vim has the, um, you know, the name, uh, I think laser etched on it. There's no markings on the Icon, but the Vim has Vim RFB 400 on the uh, handle. And they've also uh, put Vim ME14 on the extension. So, you know, very similar uh, ratchets. Definitely, yeah, no icon markings or etching on that. But, you know, the head of the ratchet, even, you know, everything but the, I think the handle of the ratchet is basically the same. The, ex the extensions are the same length, the exact same length that we stand them up here on end. Okay. But they are slight, slightly different. If you look at the shape here, you can see the Vim you know, doesn't have the same line that the icon has. And the, uh, there's a little bit of a difference in the, uh, the quarter inch adapters as well. So very similar. I'm just pointing out some of the differences here. If we look, you can see there's a, there's a little bit of a difference there between, uh, these, uh, adapters for sockets as well. All right. And of course these, the, the adapters on these guys are, you know, designed to attach to a socket so you can run a socket with the ratchet. Now, I don't know if the icon is shorter because they wanted it to fit into the case form factor. You can see it fits right into this case. Just a little bit of room to spare here at the end. So I'd say there's a good chance that that's what's dictating the length of this ratchet. It's because they're offering it along with these 32 bits. So uh, I'd say that that's likely why it's shorter. But I think Vim would, yeah, I would give the advantage to the Vim ratchet and that it's a little bit longer. There's a side profile. I just want to show them here as much as I can. The Vims are back in stock, so that's a good thing. They've been out of stock for a long time. That's why I purchased one or a couple here actually, uh, because I've been they've been out of stock on Amazon for a long time. Uh, they are back in stock on Vim's website. Let's do a quick comparison here at the front of the ratchets. Show that you can see that pretty much 
identical between the two uh, faces of these ratchets. Now, if you're not familiar, here's how they work. So I've got this Harbor Freight bit set. I can take this quarter inch hex bit. You can see it's a Phillips size too. It's one inch long and I can place it in the ratchet. You're right? So there I have, now I have a right angled screwdriver, right? No problem to do that. And, and there's any assortment of bits. I could use it as a, uh, for hex keys, right? And eliminate having to carry uh, hex keys because we got all these hex in here. And if we were to take our extension, rotate it around, you'll see that there's a little flat spot here on the extension and there's some dots. See these little sort of gray dots here. If we line that up with the dot on the face of the ratchet, okay, get those lined up in the same location. Uh, instead of just stopping on the ratchet, it will slide through. So now you have a T-handle and you can take the same screwdriver bit I just had in here and you'll see that it's magnetic, right? Now I've got a T-handled uh, screwdriver. I could spin that around or hex or whatever and you have a lot more speed there and you could use this just like you would a standard screwdriver. So that's really nice um, feature. Of course, I can pull it back out. It kind of locks in place. I mean, let's look down the handles here real quick and do a quick comparison. You can see the exact same magnet pretty much in each one of these uh, ratchets. So you get more for your money with the Icon because it comes with the 32 bits in the case. Uh, the Vim costs roughly the same amount, but you just get the ratchet and the extension and the adapter. But I would say if you're, if you had to say which ratchet's better, I mean, this Icon ratchet, of course, because it's shorter, is going to fit into tighter locations, right? So it's less likely to have the handle run into something uh, while you're turning it. So, even, of course, even though you can angle the head, right? But nonetheless, uh, it's going to fit into tighter spots. The Vim, of course, is going to give you more leverage, especially when you're using the extension on the Vim, right? You have the leverage here without having to, to add something to this. So, uh, both great ratchets, like I said, if, if you're wondering, trying to pick between the two, uh, just know that uh, they look like they are very, very similar and uh, certainly feel, uh, but when you listen to the ratcheting on the two of these, yeah, really no difference in the sound there. So, so that's just a quick look at the Vim ratchet and the comparison with the Icon uh, mini ratchet. If you're trying to decide between the two, now you can uh, make an informed decision. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like the Vim Ratchet? Do you think you prefer the Icon? Uh, of course, the Icon can be bought on sale at Harbor Freight. Uh, and of course, there's no shipping with the Icon uh, if you buy it in the store. So uh, let me know what you think. And pre please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.